What's up guys, welcome to my channel. Today's video is going to be a very simple uh, video, uh, but I'm going to tell you what's the difference between sleep, hibernate and shutdown options on your computer and which one should you choose depending on your situation. So let me start uh, saying that these three options are, are all the power saving options. Um, they are like power saving state for your computer, either desktop or laptop. And uh, it's not like, you know, one, one state is better than the other. It actually depends on your situation. Uh, depends on you know if you are actually uh, stepping out from your PC for a short time or maybe maybe for a long time So, you know, let, let's talk about what um, these states are one by one State number one sleep sleep is the fastest recovery uh, power saving option on your computer um, It actually saves all the state of your computer uh, That means the open files applications as it is on your RAM like a random access memory, which is a temporary memory However, uh, when you do that, the computer still uh, keeps c consuming the battery. So that's why um, if you are stepping out from your computer for a short time, maybe for one hour, two hours, something like that, you can actually use your sleep option. Uh, but if you're, if you're planning to uh, step away from your computer for a long time, then either uh, use the hibernate option or actually plug in your computer so that you know, it doesn't run, run out of the battery. Okay, the next option is the hibernate. The hibernate option um, is actually slower than the, than the sleep, but uh, the advantage of using hibernate is that it doesn't consume battery. So maybe if you are you know, heading away from your computer for a long time, maybe for like eight hours, 10 hours, or maybe some days, you can uh, put your computer on hibernate. It will, stay, it will save the state of your computer. That means the open files applications like as it is on your hard disk, not in the temporary memory RAM, like, uh, like the sleep option does which is actually more stable than, than storing on your RAM, right? The advantage, as I mentioned, is actually uh, you can step away for you know, a long time. You don't, you don't have to worry about charging your computer during that time. However, the disadvantage is you know, it takes a little longer than the sleep to actually resume the state of the, uh, of the computer you know, to, to, to the normal as it was before doing the hibernate option. And the last option on my list is the shutdown. Shutdown, as you know it, it's a complete uh, shutting down of your computer, like you know, free, freeing up all the resources that the, compu that the computer takes. And it will close all the applications, all the files, everything. So you won't recover the, the files that were you know, opened before shutdown. You will have to open them back again. So you will lose the progress. However, the, the advantage of using shutdown is uh, you don't have to worry about the power or the battery of your computer. You can just shut it down and you know, start it back up after any duration of time. The other advantage of using shutdown is that you know it actually uh, installs all the uh, all the updates, free up some cache memory. It actually helps your computer to run smoother and faster. Uh, the disadvantage is it takes longer to you know uh, start the computer. As you know, it you know it takes up a lot of time. Well, if you ask me uh, which one of these uh, I choose, so you know it actually depends on my situation. If I'm uh, stepping away from my PC, from my laptop for like you know a couple of hours, for three hours, four hours, I can choose the sleep option. However, if I'm if I'm heading away from my computer for longer time, uh, I, I definitely choose the hibernate. Otherwise, you know I'll have to worry about you know charging my computers because it, so that it doesn't run out of the battery on on the sleep. And every night I actually shut down my computer and uh, start the computer next day because you know that way I, I can assure myself that uh, my computer is always in the you know best possible running state and also the memory is also you know available for my purpose. It's not uh, running low on memory, it's not running slow. So this is what I do. Well this is pretty much it from this video and I hope this uh, video was helpful for you and if it was hit the like button and subscribe to my channel. Alright guys I will see you in the next video.